Hello. So my video the other day about uh, Isaac uh, being the best for armor penetration, I guess some people, you know, have got some controversy, like how I dismissed Tristan. And that's because Tristan, right, he can buff armor penetration more consistently, more fast when he's behind Aurora. And that's true to some extent. He does buff it more uh, consistently. But you could say the same with like Chin Mao by putting Kane on her or Elmir. Um, right. But of course, right, that does have an advantage in that Tristan... Right, can sit behind Aurora, but uh, that says that's more of a testament to Aurora. Like Aurora is the best tank in the game, and the only right said, and she's also the only uh, hero, I uh, only tank hero, and the only hero who can sit in front of Tristan who can use a uh, cane as a patron. Right, and that greatly increases her energy generation. Every time she dodges, she gains thirty five percent energy, and because of Tristan's passive, Tristan gains a portion of of that energy right and this allows him to buff armor penetration more consistently so he'll always have that armor penetration buff oftentimes have two armor penetration buffs at the same time right in a lot of ways that makes him better at armor penetration but right how often are you going to need more than like one armor penetration buff at a time and also right he only works in when he's behind aurora specifically Right, so it like I said, so he doesn't work with other tanks, and he doesn't work if Aurora's using another patron, such as Oliver. I mean, Kane's probably her best patron, but there are sometimes you do want to use Oliver on her, especially in the high levels. I mean, Aurora can use five different pets. She's the only hero in the game who can patron five different pets. In addition to uh, Kane, she can use Oliver, Merlin, Axel, Biscuit. Right, like I said, Biscuit has. I've seen people use Biscuit. I've seen people use Merlin on Aurora. There are certain situations they're they're narrow. Never really seen Axel on Aurora, but um. Uh, you know, Oliver and Kane, though, are both frequently used on her. Right, like I said, so, right, Tristan's good in specific situations. Like, and here's the thing, like, right, because Aurora's the best tank of the game and everybody uses her at a high level, Tristan can find a spot in teams, right? But that's, like I said, that's testament to how uh, overpowered Aurora is, not how good Tristan is. Like, if, Aurora, like I said, if Aurora wasn't the best tank of the game, Tristan would be a dud hero. Right, so when you're investing in Tristan, should you be investing a lot of resources in Tristan over uh, Isaac? And I think the answer is no. Isaac is just an all-around better hero. He's, or I said, he is um, the mage masher. He will crush uh, most magic games. Like, twins can sometimes get him just because of how the twins work. But he can, like I said, you know, he is really good against a lot of teams. Right, yes, he's kind of weak against physical attack teams, but he, but against a magic attack team, he can buff magic penetration quite frequently, and he can get, like, two armor penetration buffs at once and keep it up pretty frequently against magic teams. Yes, he's less reliable against physical attacking teams, but uh, overall, most of the time, like, most of the time, you would just rather have invested those resources into Isaac than Tristan, right? I mean, like, there's just, like, if you had to choose between Isaac and Tristan, right? Isaac's just a better choice. He's just an all-around better hero and will get you a much higher win percentage, right? Like I said, so if it's a choice between Isaac and Trista, I think it's pretty easy. You should invest in Isaac. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you for watching.